I'm back. Did you miss me? No? Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll just... Sorry about that. I didn't mean to intrude. I will... No worries. Take care. Um, I'm sorry. I don't really have anywhere else to go. So, I'm, I'm just going to sit here if that's okay with you. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. 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 Thank you so much to all of my golden grams who stick around, who subscribe, and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. I really do appreciate having y'all here, and I love reading your comments down below. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you have been watching my videos over and over again and you're not subscribed, maybe consider clicking that little red button down below and you yourself can become a crispy golden gram today. An oh so sweet cereal buddy. Today we are watching a movie that's been suggested a decent number of times and that is Minority Report. I'm very excited to watch this movie today. It is directed by Steven Spielberg and it stars Tom Cruise. So I'm hoping it's gonna be fun, a uh, fun packed time. That's all I really know about the movie. I don't know what the Minority Report is or what it stands for. I'm looking forward to figuring that out. I'm looking forward to revisiting the early 2000s as well because that was when this movie was made, but I I'm going into it pretty blind. So I'm just excited to have fun with y'all today and watch something different, watch something new for me. I don't want to talk too long because quite frankly, I already feel like I'm losing my voice. I've just, I've had to do a lot of talking in the last few days. I went to New York City yesterday. I'm very tired today. This is a big iced coffee and it's, it's not strong enough. Um, I bought a new cold brew maker. It's not doing it for me. I don't think it's steeping. It's, it's like an express cold brew maker. I think I need to go back to the, the 12 hour method because um, the flavor is not there. Anyway, I bring up going into New York City because I wanted to mention I've run into two subscribers so far since I've been in upstate New York. It's been really exciting. One was named Kyle. He works at a store near me. I'm not gonna say what store because I don't know. I don't want people digging and trying to find these people in real life, but he was very nice. Um, so Kyle, hi, and I met Andy on the train into the city yesterday. So that was very exciting. So hi, Andy. Um, it's always fun to run into you guys in public. And I feel like in the short amount of time that I've been here in New York, I've it's I've run into so many more people who watch my videos than I ever did in LA. Like I, I never ran into people in LA. I mean, that's not true. There were a couple people in LA occasionally that I, I would say they watched my videos, but maybe it's because I never left the house that much. It's probably my fault, to be honest, because I didn't leave the house that much, but I've been leaving the house a lot lately. Um, and in New York City, you know, there's just so many people around. So it, I guess it just raises the st odds of, I was gonna say raises the stakes, but it raises the odds of somebody might recognize me, I guess. Um, but man, it, it really did blow my mind. Um, so if you do somehow see me in public, which is really difficult because I don't like leaving my house <laughs> that often, um, please come up and say hi, because. Um, I really do appreciate it. So anyway, that was fun. And with all that being said, I think we should just hop on into this movie and have fun today. I'm in a new location. I'm in New York. The room is still echoey. There's still not enough furniture. My life is still quite messy, to be honest with y'all. A lot of stressors going on right now. Uh, a lot of chaos. Nothing is settled. In fact, I'm going to have to move all of my stuff again um, in a week and then move it back into this space. Um, so <laughs> it's a lot of chaos going on, but I'm excited to settle on in for a movie with y'all and just have a good time today. So let's do it. If y'all are ready, grab a drink, maybe some weak ass cold brew. Hopefully it tastes better than mine. Grab a snack <laughs> and let's get into the movie. Oh, we're making out, okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're being murdered. Oh, f what's going on? Huh? What the f is this movie? Victim. Sarah Marks, Donald, whatever. Pre-crime? Department of pre-crime? Are we predicting crime? 2054. I'm glad I looked at the screen to catch that. Who the f 
fuck is that? Is that AI or a human? Howard Marks. Oh, that was the husband that did it. So she was cheating, okay. Or will cheat? Stand by. Time of murder, 8.04 a.m. That is 24 minutes, 13 seconds from now. From now! So we can we can stop the crime before it happens? <laughs> the bed is soft. I'm soft. Oh, I do feel bad for him. But he's gonna escalate to rage, which isn't good. But I, I do feel bad for the guy. <laughs> oh, dude. I just wish you wouldn't murder them. Fox! Wow, just in time. Was it necessary that they all break the skylight like that? I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin. Future murder, I'm placing you under arrest for what you were about to do. This is kind of, a, this is a really dystopian future, man. When you can like arrest somebody for a crime they didn't yet commit. Don't cry. Oh, don't cry. Dude, these, 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 these people in the tank here are really living a horrific life, man. They're just seeing crime after crime after crime after crime, like living these experiences. What? How do they not get all pruney just sitting in that bath all day? Imagine a world without murder. Oh, now we're doing the ad for the dystopian future. Within a year, pre-crime effectively stopped murder in our nation's capital. Man, I bet all the defense lawyers are pissed. <laughs> Man, so like, if you even have the thought of killing someone, but you know you're not gonna do it, would they still come after you? Cause that's not fair. Sean. Hi, daddy. Oh, that was his son? Like that. Like that. Hi, hi, Dad, like hi. that. Is his family dead? What's going on here? This investigation of pre-crime and its personnel is being conducted under the direct supervision and express permission from the Attorney General of the United States. I'm here as his representative. You're now operating under my supervision. Seems you've been left out of the loop, John. <clears throat> it's interesting how he got lower to like demonstrate his power more. Like it, it was like, it was almost like he was like making himself seem like less of a threat to be like, sorry. But like you're under my supervision now, like to level with him. But he was also like making a statement of like, I'm actually in charge here. It was interesting blocking. Why don't you cut the cute act, Danny boy, and tell me exactly what it is you're looking for. Flaws. There hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect, perfect I agree. And that's the problem? It's human. Oh God, so examining him? Uh-oh, uh-oh. John, leave the room. Oh my God, he's not going to, this is bad. What are you doing? Wally. Uh, what is that? Sometimes they, they dream about the old murders. She spoke to me. To you? Uh-huh. Can you see? There's a lot of interesting talk of like sight and like vision in this movie. And then also like comparing it with religion and then now we got the organ music. Man, the color texture and like lighting is so gritty. Are these the prisoners? What What are we keeping them in here for? With the halos on, what are we doing to them? What the fuck, what is the point? He drowned a woman named Ann Lively out at Roland Lake. Did he actually drown her or was just a going to? So you want just the female prevision? That's right. File not found. Huh. We don't seem to have her data. Weird. He found the flaw. You said the third prevision was what? Kind of fuzzy or no, something? No, the third. Whoa, the lighting in here is spectacular. Lara told me. What? His wife? Wait, she's alive. Okay. So I guess they just lost their son. And I wonder if they divorced because of it. It was like too much. Leo Crow. You're not gonna kill me. Goodbye, Crow. You wait! Huh? That looks like him. What? It's him? Ooh, what's he gonna do now? I was wondering if like something like this would come back around to bite him in the ass. Get the two minutes before I hit the alarm. Oh, two minutes? It's like nothing. Hold that, please. Oh, it's this guy, of course. Oh, no. You set me up. I'll write the paranoia off to the whiff you were doping on. Light me! Easy. I put the gun down, John. I don't hear a red ball. <laughs> He's like, wait, are you actually gonna kill me? <laughs> that was a funny change in his face. Oh my God, this is crazy. Whoa, the billboards even look so trippy. You can't run, John. 
everybody runs. Oh my God. All these cars are just like auto drive. Oh God, this is crazy. Oh God. Oh my God. What, well, you been doing some rock climbing, bro? That finger grip is insane. Oh God. Oh, oh he's in a yoga studio. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Gosh, are you okay? <laughs> what the f Just take it easy. The halo, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Oh, the dog served as a great distraction. Holy shit. That's what that stick makes you do? That's great. Got a grip? Got a grip? He doesn't want him to die. That's nice. Even though he's fighting for his life, he's like, this is my team though. I'm not going to let him die. This like poetic justice of like the guy who's like locked away all of these men without committing a crime or women who haven't committed a crime, just pre-crime stuff. And now he's being chased. It's really satisfying in a way because he was so sure like, oh, they were going to commit the crime. They were going to do it. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. He doesn't even look phased. What's that? Why didn't he even look scared there? Oh God. Oh, now he got a gun. He's too good, you can't catch him. He's the only one who can outrun him. Oh, are we on an assembly line? It's the classic action sequence when we're on an assembly line fighting. Oh, Jesus, dude, oh my God. This is like a death trap? What are we making here? Did he just get encased? He's encased. Is he in the car? He's in the car. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Maybe he found a way to break out, I, I don't know. It's a nice car. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's fine. He, look at him, he's so smooth, he's just fine. Oh, so they're not all automatic, he could just drive it. Wow, amazing. The door's open for him in the factory, just magically. Wow, bravo, great job. Oh God, oh God, what are you about to do? No! <laughs> Ew, gross. But you do understand I can't just give you new irises. This is terrifying. I. This is terrifying. Let me introduce my gorgeous assistant, Miss Van Eyck. Oh God. She's not gonna wash her hands either. I am having an anxiety attack. Oh, Miss Van Eyck, I'm afraid she's already smitten. Oh God, this is terrifying. She only has eyes for you. I don't wanna watch this. Are we gonna do this while he's awake? Confinement was a real education, a real... I don't wanna watch this, this is so, oh, eye opener, ew. Oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Oh God, this is so, oh my God. Thank God we cut away, I was too stressed, I couldn't handle it. I'm setting up a timer. When it rings tomorrow, you can take off the bandages and get the hell out of here, but not before then or you'll go oh, blind. Oh no, I, I worry that after that warning, he's gonna have to. Don't take the bandages off the floor. If you take him off before then, you're yeah, I, yeah, we're repeating this now. I worry he's gonna have to take him off before for some stupid reason. Like somebody's gonna come after him and he's gonna have to run or something. I don't know. Oh, he's having a flashback to the to when his son died. Oh, that's a nightmare. What happened to his son at the pool? Okay, give Ready? me the count. Give me the count. Three, two, one, go. Oh, so it was while he was holding his breath underwater that something happened. He looked away and then, oh, the watch. His son's gone. Sean? Did his son get kidnapped? Oh no. Sean! So sad. Sean! Yeah. Oh God, don't take the bandages off. You still have six hours. Okay, you're halfway done, buddy. 12 hours really isn't that long in the grand scheme of things. No way. Oh, they're looking for him down here. Oh no. He's not allowed to take off the bandages. Oh, ew, what do these spiders do? That's terrifying. Do they like incapacitate people? Stay still, baby. Open your eyes. It's okay. I like it. Oh, he has his old eyes. He has his old eyes. He's gotta find him though. Dude, get your old eyeball. Or no, that's the, no, 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 wait. I'm a moron. You don't wanna use the old eyeball. You wanna use the new eyeball, but they're not ready yet. 
going to the bathroom. Oh my God, we left a bath running? Why did we do that? What are you doing with the ice? We're making an ice bath? Is it to cool off his body? Oh, he's gonna make himself as cold as possible. They're breaking in. They're breaking in! They're tracking the warm bodies. Oh my God, this is, I hate this. This is awful. I hate this. Get in the bath! Oh my God. Good thing we had the ice. This can't be good with the bandages, honestly. Oh, and the holding breath thing is even coming back around about how long he can hold his breath. Like it's really making him relive his trauma right now. No f way. It hears. He's straight up being electrified in water. That's great. Oh no, he could go blind. He might go blind in an eye. Maybe that'll be the thing. He'll go blind in one eye. Hurry up! It's not him. Standing down. Let's see. Oh my God, he might've just gone blind in the left eye. Ident, John Anderson approved. Well, they didn't remove him from the system. That's crazy. Nobody fires a weapon inside the temple. Use only bind foam or your six sticks. Is there another way out of it? Six sticks. Oh, I just got, I thought they were calling them stick sticks. Now I get why they're called six sticks because they make you throw up. It's pretty awful. I wouldn't like a weapon like that because then you just risk getting thrown up on every time you use it. Oh, that's why he's taking her. I, I see. <laughs> Wally? Wally! The other two can so fuck. You don't understand. They're a hive mind. It takes all three for their predictive abilities to work. Are you telling me they can't see murders Maybe anymore? Maybe if you would taken one of the males, but Agatha, she's the key. She's the key. You could have lost a dude, but you needed the, the woman. Can you understand me? Are you cold? The shivers is the drugs we gave you. Oh yeah, she's been drugged her whole life. Like my God. She'd probably be going through withdrawals. Not to mention like if she's constantly drugged with dopamine, like that'd be an intense experience to not have that anymore. Can you tell me if- Is it now? What? Is it now? Is it now? Oh, like is it the future or is it now? I'm tired. I'm tired of the future. <laughs> yeah, poor babe. Like, yeah, like we just made these people slaves to like future visions. <gasps> You'd see. What is this about? Can you see what the f is happening? It's always back to this. Ed Lively. Mm-hmm. You want me to see who killed Ed Lively? Yeah. It's been about this the whole time. <laughs> We're gonna cut you, yeah, of course. Get it, let's Yeah, I'm gonna spread up. Megan! Oh my god. Negative. Thank you. I don't deserve that. Aha! He wants to pretend like he's winning an Oscar. Are you kidding me? That's so f funny that's so funny man you're paying for an experience like that dude just do it in the shower like the rest of us like I, i'd like to thank my mother for you know supporting me all these years and i'd like to thank my acting coach except not really because they just traumatized me that's that's what we that's what we do okay save a lot of money that way <laughs> wait no we can't stop here Can you see the balloon man wait hide behind him wait She's like begging him. Oh yeah. Oh, perfect. She's she's great. You have a choice. Walk away. Do it now. I can't. I have to know. I have to find out what happened in my life. No, walk away. Listen to her. I'm not gonna kill the man. I don't even know him. What room is Crow in? Uh, 1006. Yeah, but you're going there. That's a problem. There's the lady. <laughs> Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Dude, she's telling you to walk away. There's a reason you should walk away. I bet Leo Crow is the man who killed his son. If that case was never solved, I don't know if it was. I bet that's what it is. That's the only logical explanation for why he'd kill him. Agatha's begging you to walk away, man. Leave. <laughs> Leave. Listen to her. He will, he will not listen to her. You're gonna kill the guy. She doesn't want you to. He looks possessed. Like, I feel like, oh, well, I guess it's his new eyes. You can tell like with the contacts, like ever since he got the surgery, his pupils just look so much more dilated and his eyes look more like demonic. And it's interesting because he's like descending into like this feverish drive of like this need to figure out who Leo Crow is. Yep, photos of children that he probably kidnapped and murdered and got away with. 
And I bet Sean is there too. Oh God. The thing is at the very least he could have left his gun down in the lobby or something. Like if he's not gonna kill the guy, he could have like not brought your gun up here. That would have been a great way to prevent you shooting him. You grabbed up a kid at Francis Public Deal on West End. <laughs> What's happening to her? She's convulsing. What's happening to her? <laughs> oh, it's because she's living it right now while it's happening? It's somebody's father. His name is Sean. <laughs> it's crazy that he just had all the photos laid out on the bed like this. She's convulsing. She's about to, oh my God, dude. She's like about to die over here from what's happening. Dude, no, come on, it's so predictable. You have the right to remain silent. Good. So this proves that his job is not good though. They're, they've locked away a lot of innocent people probably. If you don't go through with this, my family gets nothing, okay? You're supposed to kill me. He said you would. He said you would? Huh? If you did what? If I acted like I killed your kid. He didn't kill his kid. You didn't kill his kid? Look, you don't kill me, my family gets nothing, okay? Who's he? The, it's the government guy. It's the, it's the guy that wants his job? It's the guy that wants his job? That's so unbelievably f up. Goodbye, bro. Goodbye, bro. Wait a second! Fair. That's not fair. He what? That's not fair. Oh come on. That's. F I don't like that. Danny Whitworth's on the phone. He says it's important. Whitworth. That's who I think set John up. What? Well, Lamar, there's something terribly wrong. We're chasing the wrong man. Oh wait. Meet me at Anderton's. Wait, but Whitner Whitworth thinks it's not John's fault now. So maybe okay, it wasn't him. This is the murder of a woman named Anne Lively. Mm hmm. So it's whoever murdered Anne, maybe. All you'd have to do is hire someone to kill Anne Lively, someone like a drifter. Pre-crime stops the murder from taking place. Halo's the killer, takes him away. But then, right then, someone else comes in and does it the same way? Commits the murder in exactly the same way. That's pretty crazy. A pretty smart dude right there. Of course, it would have to be someone with access to the pre-visions in the first place. Lamar? Someone fairly high up. Shh. Do you know what I hear? Nothing, because right now, the precogs can't see a thing. Holy f Lamar, you're crazy. He's f crazy. Oh, poor Danny. Oh, he was good after all. He's a religious man after all. I shouldn't have doubted him. Sorry, Danny. You have to help him. Is he there? Yes. Uh-oh, no. You shouldn't have told him. I'm on my way. Oh, no. Please, please don't tell Danny Whitworth. I don't trust him. I know, I didn't either, and... We made, we made the same mistake, Lara. He's no killer, Lamar. I know. Yeah, he knows because he is. You remember when I, I would read Tom Sawyer to you and Sean? <laughs> the overexposedness when we're making people glow and you can't see anything like in the background. It's a little bit much. Oh, and we just raised it. It's a little bit much. I think I'd prefer this movie without like such a filtered feel to it. But why would they set you up? Yeah, why would Lamar set you up? Because I found out about her. Anne. Yeah, it happened right after Anne. How could I not have seen this? Yeah, that's why. Ding, 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 ding. Man, I didn't even put it together for a second. It took me a while. Sean. He's in high school. He likes to run. Like his father. He runs the two mile and the long relay. She's seeing the future that didn't happen? I want him back so bad. See? Can't you see? Can you see? She just wanted her little girl back. Oh my God, Agatha's Anne's daughter. Who killed your mother? Who killed Anne Lively? You know who. I'm sorry, John, but you're gonna have to run again. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, she really knows how to instill fear. They're already here, it's too late. By mandate of the District of Columbia Pre-Crime Division, I'm placing you under arrest no. for the murders of Leo Crow and Danny Whitworth. And Danny Whitworth? What? We framed him for that too, wow. This is awful. This is all my fault. Yes it is. 
God, it's up to you now. Laura, you gotta piece the puzzle together, girl. It's up to you. And uh, I'll, I'll have Gideon run the containment files. See if anyone drowned a woman by the name of a... Of, of, uh... How did you know she drowned? How did you know she drowned? Anne Lively. But I never said she drowned. Watch, or a bunch of uh, pre-crime people gonna storm in here and save her? Perhaps tomorrow I'll come by the cottage. No, I don't think you will. Honey, get a security guard. I'm scared. Who's that? She snuck in here? How did she sneak in here with a gun? How did she? Oh, the eyeballs? What, he gave her the eyeball? Oh, the applause, that's hilarious. Good thing he kept the eyes, it was important. Yes, this, this is Burgess. Hello, Lamar. I just wanted to congratulate you, you did it. <laughs> Agatha's mother, Anne Lively. Just a junkie who had a kid once. And I Agatha's mom wanted her kid back. Just like frickin' Eleven's mom, you know? I wonder if they pulled inspiration from this movie because even like sitting in the tank with the white outfit is kind of like what Eleven does. Jen, let's think before you send that. Whoa, 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 slow down. No, don't think before you send it, Chad. Just do it. Oh, whoa, we're telegraphing it to the gala, to the ball, whatever you call this, I don't know. <laughs> the black tie event. So you hired someone to kill her for you, knowing full well the precogs would see that murder. It's interesting they couldn't see the hiring, like it wasn't part of it. This poor guy is just locked. I mean, he's not a poor guy. He was hired to do it. How dumb do you have to be in a time of pre-crime to go along with being hired for murder? You're throwing your life away for what? Pennies? <gasps> She's yelling at her mom to run. Run! And that's awful that she has to watch her mother get murdered. Oh my God, they're, uh, the, the theatrics. Although I'm pretty sure that was his wife that just fainted or his secretary or whatever, so. What are you gonna do? He's leaving the gun. No, he's taking it out. He's gonna use one of the gold bullets that symbolize the destruction, the end of destruction or whatever he said. We got a red ball! A red ball! It's crime of passion incoming. Lamar wants to kill John. John's the victim. <laughs> the dramatic, the dramatic uh, looks to camera. <laughs> oh look, the Washington Monument. John, he's gonna kill you! If you don't kill me, precogs were wrong and pre-crime is over. If you do kill me, you go away. Yeah, right, true. I, I still feel like we should abolish pre-crime. I think there's too much room for doubt. Forgive me, John. He shot himself. He just killed himself. Oh my God. Took the coward's route out. I don't blame him, honestly. Probably would have done the same. I also wouldn't have murdered a woman who just wanted her daughter back. Oh, we got back together. Oh, she's pregnant again. Oh, we're, we're healing. That's good. What are we at the Shire now? Oh, are those the twins and the Sagatha? Is this where they're living? Oh, they're living in a lovely little college, or college, cottage. Oh, that's nice. Although they still have to just live together. <laughs> I hope they like each other. <laughs> it is, a, wow, this is a lovely, lovely little college. Co cottage, why can't I say the word cottage? <laughs> They're not a college. Is this where the movie's gonna end? Just like, happy ending, la la la, in Alaska. Yep. <laughs> wow. Interesting concept for a movie. I do think the plot progression was fun. I do feel like there were a lot of like, gotcha moments. And no, you thought it was gonna be this, but actually it's gonna be that. And that kind of kept happening a little bit. Like it was pretty easy to predict that the guy, Leo Crow, was gonna be like the guy that killed Sean, but then, when it wasn't really him, that was a fun little surprise. But then we kept getting that, I feel like, with discovering that Anne Lively is really the root of why this is happening to John, and oh my God, it's Lamar, and why did he kill Anne Lively? And okay, that was pretty easy to piece together that she's the mom of Agatha. So there were a lot of little moments like that that were like you'd kind of figure out what was happening right before it'd be announced, but then there'd be like an element of it that was surprising or not expected. Even like the moment in the end where you think he's either gonna kill John or he's gonna let himself be captured. No, he kills himself. Like even in that moment, it's like, oh, nope. It's a twist, a little twist. And sometimes that can be fun. I think in this, it got to be like a little repetitive, but it was still fun. And the style of the movie was definitely very specific. <laughs> there were a lot of interesting blocking that was really 
dramatic, especially with the cameras, like the cinematography, a lot of like flipping and crazy panning and spinning and, you know, dramatic looks and turnarounds and a lot of moments like that. And it wasn't necessarily like hammy, but it was very stylized. And um, likewise with like the lighting and the color tone of the whole piece, it was just very overexposed in some moments, very gritty. Um, and I don't know if I really enjoyed that to be honest. I think the sets were really cool and there were a lot of like, there was a lot of beautiful lighting going on when it wasn't super overexposed, but anytime something felt really overexposed, I just kind of found myself thinking about that and noticing that more and not in a good way. Like there are times when I watch movies and you notice the lighting because it's so intertwined with what's happening emotionally with the characters and, and the script that it serves it and it feels like it's one, like, being like the, the film is like working together symbiotically in this beautiful way. And so you maybe you notice the lighting, but it, it's just hitting your heart and it's perfect. And this I was like, oh, wow, this is really bright or this is really overexposed. Um, and I could tell it was intentional, but it didn't necessarily make me feel a certain way. Um, it, in fact, it just distracted me. So I really could have done without a lot of that. I, I, I would have loved to have seen this movie without such an intense um, like color tone to it and um, such dramatic choices, I feel, in lighting. There were times when it was really cool, but I, I could have done without most of it. And yeah, I've never really looked into where the inspiration came from for something like Stranger Things, but I did get a lot of vibes from Agatha. <laughs> It was reminding me a lot of like her story and her costumes and her experience was reminding me a lot of like Eleven. And I know that Stranger Things does reference a lot of movies, like a lot of older stuff from the 80s, uh, a lot of different tropes or different movies and films and series in general. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if they took inspiration from something like this, or maybe this took inspiration from something else. Like, I don't even know, maybe this, cause this was made in 2002, maybe this took inspiration from something that was older. You guys would have to let me know in the comments down below if you're aware of any of that, but I, I definitely got hardcore Stranger Things vibes. Even from Lamar, when you think about it, like he looks a lot like Papa. <laughs> Anyway, that's just me comparing old white men again, which I frequently get confused. Whenever I see a bunch of old white men in a movie, I feel like I'm always like, ah, oh, was that the other old white men? Or is that a different old white man? I don't know, I can't tell them apart anymore. But yeah, this was a fun movie. I don't have too much to say about it. I, I think there are things that I would change and I think there are things I liked, but I, I, I think it was just kind of fine in, in general. Nothing mind blowing or particularly outstanding to me, but I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you love of Minority Report or do you just think it's fine? It's it's a good watch, but it's nothing to write home about. I would definitely love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below regardless. I think when it comes to movies, a lot of people get really passionate about the ones that they love. And there's always gonna be somebody who doesn't like it as much. For me, I feel like I fell kind of in the middle on this one. Like, I don't feel like I'd ever really wanna rewatch it, to be honest. I don't think it was that good, but I don't think it was bad. I think it was totally fine. It's just, I don't know if it was necessarily like my favorite kind of movie. Again, mainly just because there were plot elements that I could call and then plot elements that were like surprising, but it just kind of felt like the script was kind of just be like, gotcha, you thought it was going one way, but nope, we're doing a, we're doing a surprise bit. And it wasn't like, it was kind of predictable in the sense that I knew something unexpected would happen by the end. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. I don't know if I'm making sense in the way that I'm describing that, but it, it's like this weird thing where I, I felt acutely aware of what the writers were trying to do. And then I just felt like I was being pulled out of it with the lighting and stuff too. But it was still really fun and still a really unique concept, which I do appreciate because you don't always find unique concepts for stories these days. And um, I do like watching movies that are older um, for that reason, because a lot of times I feel like there were a lot more risk taking back in the day, which it feels crazy to say that 2002 is an older movie and that it was back in the day, but it is now, uh, it's like 20, 21 years ago, which is crazy. Anyway, that's all I have for this outro. I really hope y'all enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all, more Tom Cruise movies, more sci-fi action movies. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I really look forward to hearing them and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden, bye.